welcome everyone to a Shelter Music Boston concert. My name is Rebecca and I am a violinist and violist with Shelter Music Boston and I'm going to be performing today with Matthew who also plays violin and viola. So speaking of those two instruments, here we go. We have a violin as you can see in my right hand and a viola in my left hand. Granted they look very similar, um, but you can see that there is a size difference. The violin is a little bit smaller, the viola is a little bit bigger. Um, because the violin is smaller, it has a higher sound. Because the viola is a little bigger, it has a little bit of a lower sound. Um, and the violin is the highest uh, instrument in the string family, and the viola is the middle sound. Um, we do not have today the cello, which is much bigger and has a lower sound. Um, but what's cool today is that we have a program in which both um, Matthew and I will be playing both instruments. So the first piece we're going to play, we are both going to be playing the violin. The second piece we're going to play, Matthew is going to play the violin and I'm going to play the viola. And the last piece, we are both going to play the viola. So I hope you enjoy the concert. The first piece we're going to play uh, today is for two violins and it is by a composer named Joseph de Ballon de Saint-Georges. He was one of the most remarkable figures of the 18th century. His father was a member of a very wealthy family which lived in the French West Indies. He was actually of mixed race as his mother was an enslaved African woman who lived on his father's plantation. Sadly, his African her heritage made him Ill ineligible for the nobility and its titles under French law. Despite that, he had quite a privileged childhood and studied both music and, believe it or not, fencing um, with his father. He went on to study both these and other subjects in Europe and eventually rose to the top of French society through his mastery of fencing and his genius for classical music. So we'll be playing a piece today for two violins, his Sonata Number no. 2, which has two movements. The first one's a, a pretty quick movement, and the second one is um, called an aria, which basically means a song with um, some variations or um, decorations to it. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> 